So for this trip, we're actually going to be dead sticking. I'm going to use a couple different combinations. Number one, I'm going to use the tandem rig. So I got my uh, three quarter ounce to one ounce jig up here. It's got the hook and then I've attached a stinger hook to it. Down on the bottom, I've got a one and a half ounce jig with just a zoom fluke. I also have a, a two ounce jig. This one's actually got a zoom paddle tail. So this one, instead of dead sticking, you throw it out and you reel it in nice and slow. Then I've also got the standard uh, one hook rig set up. So again, you'll just throw this one out and use this to dead stick. So we've got a couple different options. We're going to try some artificials today. We're also going to try some bait. So hopefully it'll be a good day. The other thing you can notice on this rod is I use the braided line. So this is used to help control the depth. This line changes color every 10 feet. So if I'm working in 30 feet of water and that's where the fish are, I simply count down three colors. So it might be blue, orange, green. And then at the end of the green, I know my bait's at 30 feet and I can just stop it right there. That keeps me from having to look at the graph or keeps me from having to count down the, the line to figure out how deep I am. Elite 12. So what he's seeing are these big hump, big arcs right here, and they look like striper anywhere from 20 to 35 feet. So we're gonna drop the trolling motor, drop some shad, drop some dead stick, and see what see what we can do. dead stick it really didn't have a lot of luck so he actually broke out the captain max a rigs uh, i wanted to fish hook up and get off and then we had the second fish hooked up right here so we're fighting him pretty steady oh, yeah. see what we got got the a rig coming in it's got a nice little box fish hanging off the back end of it swinging him in the boat striper number one in the boat So once we switch the A-Rigs, I'm just dropping the first A-Rig back after catching the first fish. Now they've already hooked up on the second fish. So I'm trying to watch him and get this A-Rig out at the same time. What we're doing 
as we're cruising right along the bottom. Just get these air rigs out just so where they're not dragging the bottom. And then just try to drag them through the fish. There's not a ton of fish out here. We're not working like huge schools, but we're picking them up left and right. This is the second fish we've hooked up. This is a much better fish. You can see the bend he's putting in the rod. All right, we got a beast on here. Not sure who caught who. image of this fish that he just took and it is a beast it is a monster you might want to walk over this way bring it away from these lines bring your pole up and come over this way just take it over these other lines there you go right there a good spot just keep fighting this is a beast guys this is a monster fish It's a beast. This is a, this is a beast, guys. This is one of the biggest striper we've caught in a long time. Keep them coming in slowly. Try and get him out to the boat. Might be around these other lines. It's okay. You just keep them coming. We'll untangle later. slide this way oh, some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just try to up here. Keep it coming. Okay, keep it coming. Okay, hold it right there. Yeah, hold it right there. So I get a shot. All right, that is awesome. Way to go. You don't even have to hold that one up. It's a big fish. Fish number two, three.
Jacob, tell me a little bit about your boat, man. <laughs> what size engine does it have in it? Uh, it has a 502 big block Chevy. Oh, nice. And then how many people can you carry in it? Uh, take it for 10 people. 10 people? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yep. So it's really good for like somebody's looking for a corporate outing or something. Oh, yeah. Because you can t put 10 people in the boat. All right. That's pretty cool. Well, Jacob, that was a pretty cool trip, man. I think uh, we started off trying to dead stick and started off trying to bait. Uh, fish bait and you know what conditions changed we weren't getting any bites we switched to a rigs and then we caught a couple really nice fish really had uh, two happy clients so how long have you been a guide here on texoma uh, about two years two years what, what made you decide to become a guide uh, so did you go straight from fisherman to guide or did you like work with people or how'd you just how'd you get into the business of being a guide for the time uh, So if you want to enter our contest, all you have to do is go to our website, dumpemupfishing.com. Go over here to the right where it says giveaways. Click on the giveaways button. It'll pull up the giveaway and it'll also give you the different options that you have to sign up for the contest. So all you have to do is click on one of these buttons and that'll give you an entry into the contest. So please don't forget to like, subscribe, check out our website, check out our giveaway pages and send us some pictures of the fish you catch using your thumpers and using the techniques that we talk about in our video.